I do Work like I still got something to prove Let's go All I do Work like I still got something to prove <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back and we're hitting chess. Today's focus is going to be chess, but I'm really going to focus on upper chess. So, you know, like, you ever want to, like, be able to, like, set a cup, like, on your chest? Or maybe you're a female that, you know, maybe you don't have cleavage, but you want to build your own cleavage. Well, I got you. In today's workout, we're hitting upper chest real hard. Follow along. <laughs> Beauty patootie. Watch out my little baby. Exercise number one. Now I'm doing this on a T-bar row just because it's, I can. Uh, you can also just do this on a regular 45 pound bar on the ground. Um, but this is called a landmine press. Uh, very similar if you've ever done like a squeeze press on an incline. Uh, where you're squeezing the dumbbells together. You're basically going to be doing that same thing. Big thing here is actually focusing like as you go up is squeezing that upper chest, your pecs at the very top. So when I come down, you're squeezing here and then actually like squeeze the bar just like you would if you were doing a squeeze press with dumbbells. Your focus is on squeezing those dumbbells so they don't come apart. You're going to be squeezing your hands together, even though the barbell is not going to come apart. Squeeze them, and then at the top, I kind of like push my head through a little bit. You'll see it on the actual rep. I come forward, and then I'll kind of rock back so it comes all the way down to my chest. And then as I push up, I'm going to kind of come forward so that the bar, my hands are kind of above my head. So we're gonna start higher reps with this one. So like 20 reps, then 15 reps, then 12 reps, then eight reps. So obviously those are kind of big jumps in your rep scheme. So it is your duty to up the weight every single. So 20 is it's basically like your warm up set. So 20, 15, 12, eight. How's this music for ya? <laughs> My dad's here. He's lifting. <laughs> His name is Drew Bailey. <laughs> anyway, next up, watch out little baby. We're gonna do some single arm pec deck. Um, I like to do this, especially if I'm really trying to target upper chest, even mid chest. Cause one, you can kind of angle your body, however, we're all built a little bit differently. So some of you, as you go, you might want to lean forward a little bit. Some might lean back a little bit. But the cool thing with only doing one arm at a time, you can cross over that midline. So you're getting bigger contraction. Instead of stopping here, you're going here. So you get a bigger contraction out of it. So I'm going to do single arm, single arm, double arms. Three sets. So we're going to go eight to 10 reps, single on both sides. And then you'll probably have to add a little bit of weight and then we're gonna do them together. Please don't let me into my zone. I just need some time on my own. All these people trying to get a conversation. You can conversate to that tone. Uh, wrong, yeah. So I'm never alone, yeah. All these people trying to box me in. I'm Mayweather, it's on, yeah. Now they ask where I'm at. Making his that line back. I'm MJ, I'm 2 3, man. I just need some time back. That's like, they're so. I just feel it's like you press and you fly. You press and you fly. You know, sometimes I try to make it fancy, and it makes me mad. Well, that's all chest is. It's presses and flies, over and over and over and again. <laughs> We're making this one up on the go. <laughs> all right, next up, we got incline press. Uh, I'm going to be doing dumbbell because I'm going to superset this with another dumbbell exercise afterwards. If you want to do a machine or Smith machine, you can totally do that. Uh, I am going to be doing my inclines slightly different, so maybe you want to do the dumbbells. Uh, this is called a, like a key press. So basically, you're going to start in an underhand position, 
And as you press up, you're gonna internally rotate so that your palms face away from you. And then you're gonna reverse it on the way back down. Now the benefit of this is I can get a little bit more stretch out of my chest this way because you can really drop those elbows down versus here, I'm not as flexible because my shoulders aren't as flexible, but here you're dropping your, basically you're making your arms come closer to your sides so that your elbows can drop more, getting more stretch out of your chest. So better stretch, even better contraction. So called a key press, you can do this on a decline, you can do it on a flat bench. We just happen to be doing it on an incline. So you're gonna start with el palms facing you, elbows down, and then as you press up, palms are gonna face away from you. Again, we're gonna keep our reps going downwards so you'll start a little bit lighter and then every set you're gonna get a little bit heavier. I'm then gonna drop my seat down and I'm gonna do this with a single dumbbell because I, I wanted to do some sort of like underhand. So an easy bar could work, but again, I know people work out in public gyms a lot. So we're just gonna do this with a dumbbell. So you're gonna hold basically the, the bottom of the dumbbell and you're just doing like a front raise from here. So yes, we're hitting some shoulders with this, but again, it's just going to keep exhausting that upper chest shoulder area so 12 10 what did i say yeah 12 10 8 maybe six for the last one and then this will be somewhere around 10 reps keep that around 10. i need more weight for this all right like i said this is a uh, big upper chest workout like I have you know I don't have boobs but I can at least make like a mirage you know like when you go to like a desert and you're like is that water I do that with my is that, are those boobs no pecs because I built them so next little set we're doing this is one of my favorite I love cable flies again chest day is a lot of presses and a lot of flies I just try to like vary the way I'm doing it, sometimes going crossbody, sometimes doing one arm, varying the workout itself. So, cable flies, low to high. So you're coming from this low position, you can do these standing or seated, I'm just gonna do them standing. Big thing here is, as I come to the top, I like to bring my pinkies together, because I, I feel like as you come up, instead of here, just going here, one, you're gonna hit your anterior delt a little bit but you're really gonna hit that like I don't know, like come on now guys you guys see this like i can feel it I feel it you're gonna hit that upper shelf of your chest so <clears throat> again we're gonna work our way down in reps 15 12 10 8 adding weight with each set then i'm going to a pike push-up but we're going to go in a neutral position so this is gonna target a little bit more shoulders. So upper chest, but kind of a lot of shoulders, which I usually throw a lot more shoulder stuff on chest day in. Today we're focusing a little more on chest, but we always throw a little bit of delts in. So we're doing a pike push up. If you cannot do it from a bench, you can do it from a floor, which will be a lot easier. You'll just come from here and down. So it's a lot of anterior delt. To make it a little bit harder, I'm gonna add some height. And the closer your hands are to the bench, the harder it gets. So you can start almost in a decline push-up, and if you can get, let's say, four or five reps, start trying to make your way closer to the bench. The closer you are, that means you're really piked, but I don't bend in half too well. So if you're very flexible, you might be able to be pretty high but one thing with this is you can get a little bit more range of motion this way if you want to hit more chest keep your uh, face forward a little bit more instead of like head down ah. so you'll come here kind of chin to floor instead of forehead this is more shoulder this would be a little more chest still hitting the front delts a lot that's hard to talk through 
all the blood's in my head right now. This, you're just going to failure, do as many as you can. Especially after this, you might only get, you know, four or five reps and that's okay. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Say it gon' put me all in the mad with all that mad game you been talking. Oh yeah, man, that's awesome. All right, last but not least, the I said this was upper body, but or upper chest. We're gonna finish with just some flat bench because it just wouldn't feel right to have a chest day without a little flat bench. So I'm doing dumbbell flat bench because it also wouldn't feel right if I did it all by itself without hardly any laterals. Um, so we're gonna end, <laughs> we're doing, again, going down in reps. This one's gonna get a little heavier. So we're going 10, eight, six, five area. So you're going as heavy as you can for this last thing. Um, and then we're gonna go right up into just, just a seated, lateral raise because you know at the end of this i'm going to take a photo of myself in the mirror and i want to look jack so that's that's how you look jack lateral raises guys let me just warn you on that last exercise i didn't even go up and wait because my reps just kept going down and down and down so if you get by the end and you can't do nearly as much weight as you normally can don't feel bad I didn't even go up and wait. That was a struggle bus. So, thank you guys for watching. Big chest day. So if you like big upper chest, you wanna create your own cleavage, this is your workout for you. For more workouts like this, come follow me, follow my daily training on the, my DLB Daily app. You can try it out for free for the first week. You know, try before you buy. Try before you buy, you might hate me, I don't know. I'd hate me. Some of my workouts, I hate me. I get it. $7 a month, dlbdailyapp.com. Thanks for watching.